Hello, today I'll be talking about the structure of viruses. In particular, their viral envelopes and capsids. Some key terms are capsids, capsomeres, viral envelopes, glycoproteins, helicoviruses, and eicosahedral viruses. To begin, viruses are intracellular parasites that require a host cell to reproduce and carry out their life cycle. Basically, a virus is nucleic material, either RNA or DNA, contained in a protein coating. This protein coating is known as the capsid and is made of smaller protein subunits known as capsomeres. Per virus, typically the capsid is made up of few if not one type of protein. For example, the tobacco mosaic virus is made of one repeating capsomere multiple times. A helicovirus is one type of capsid. For this type of capsid, the capsomeres rotate in a, in a cylinder to form a rod-like shape. Inside this rod is the RNA coiled inside. The other type of shape is a icosahedron. In this shape, while it appears to be a sphere, it is actually 20 faces on the surface creating this sphere-like shape. Each of the triangles on the icosahedron is made of one, th at least three capsomere subunits. A virus can either be enveloped or non-enveloped. If it is non-enveloped, then that means it is purely the capsid, and the capsid will have glycoprotein spikes, typically on its vertices. These glycoproteins, which are a polypeptide chain with a carbohydrate attached to it, are used to connect to receptors on the host cell in order for the cell to gain entry. If the cell does not have an envelope, then it will be engulfed through endocytosis into the cell. If the cell does have a viral envelope, this means that the capsid is contained in one or multiple lipid bilayers. These lipids are made from the endoplasmic reticulum and transported with the Golgi bodies for the virus. The, when these virus is enveloped, when it comes in contact with the cell, instead of using endocytosis, typically it will fuse with the membrane of the cell. Knowing the type of structure for the virus is important because it describes how the cell will interact with the virus. If it is non-enveloped, then, the, then it will be endocytosized. The enzymes from the cell will di digest the capsid and the RNA or DNA will then enter the cell. If it is enveloped, then the glycoprotein surrounding the bilayer will enter will come in contact with the cellular membrane, fuse with it, and then the capsid will be injected into the cell where it is once again digested and the RNA is released. Unlike phages, most animal viruses are enveloped or non-enveloped. If it is enveloped, then once the virus is reproduced inside of the cell, then it is able to separate from the cell through budding as the, the RNA is duplicated and new capsomeres are formed from proteins which then are sent out through vesicles from the host cell. For many enveloped viruses, the host cell is not lysed or destroyed because of this process. However, some enveloped viruses and all non-enveloped viruses do result in the Bicing of the cell because it does not have a membrane of its own. Viruses are nucleic material contained in capsids which are composed of smaller subunits known as capsomeres and surrounded in a viral envelope and glycoproteins. This allows for the virus to enter the this, this cell and its RNA or DNA to be turned into more proteins and more nucleic material to create more viruses 
which either burst out of the cell or bud off of the cell, depending on it, if it is enveloped or not.